This is Hillside Golf Club, just the other side of the railway track from Southport and Ainsdale. Now people often go on about the back nine here at Hillside and it is indeed a fantastic experience in amongst towering dunes, valley holes, spectacular tees. But the front nine isn't too bad either, I can tell you that. This is the second green here and uh, it's an interesting green complex. Over on the left, if you get past the first bunker, everything might well gather back in towards the flag. If you miss it on the right, you're away and down into these hollows and this deep pot bunker front right. And if you're down in here where I am, you aren't going to be seeing much of the flag for your recovery attempt. The seventh is certainly one of the prettiest front nine holes here at Hillside. It's a mid-length par three playing towards that copse of pines and the club has recently relayed the green and remodelled it a little and uh, you'll see there are three bunkers on the right and a much bigger one on the left and when the sunlight filters through those trees behind and just catches the green it's an absolute picture. The back nine at Hillside starts with a lovely little par three and then you come up off the green, step onto this tee and the whole world seems to open up before you. A fantastic par five, dog legging round to the left up to a green set at the foot of a copse of pines. It's probably one of my favourite holes in England. I'm on the very back tee on the 14th at Hillside here, a fantastic little perch up in the dunes where the course is at its most dramatic. Over there the Irish Sea, Birkdale behind me and ahead of me a wonderful par 4 played down a valley to a distant green. Lynx golf as the sun goes down takes some beating doesn't it and we've just had a bit of a, a rain shower and storm here at Hillside and it's left the sky that beautiful hue just there behind us.